Dun, 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 dun. Welcome back to Blackmore Manor, everybody. Apologies that I am looking like a drowned rat today. I went to the end of the street to get some energy drinks for this session, and it started pouring on me, so... I can attest. Yeah, it's a rainy day. I've been looking forward to this so much. This is like a like a therapy session. It's yeah. just so relaxing. Blackmore <laughs> is the perfect, like, rainy day game next to, like, Crystal Skull. It's Yeah, honestly, this is... This is like peak life. <laughs> <laughs> it's all downhill from here. <laughs> Probably. Uh, What's that? Oh, it's our homework. Heaven mm. at midnight. On the longest night of year. That's the one she holds most dear. Do you remember the crossword puzzle? Starry friends is one of the things. Mm -hmm. Again. How the hell do they make this taste exactly like Swedish fish? That blows my mind. I've been trying to tell you. And there's zero sugar. What is this danger theme? You know there's black magic in this beverage. Good. A little ominous theme here. What do you think of that, Shakespeare? I honestly don't know why they're playing that. You should go talk to Linda, though. Guess she's not in her room. What? Oh, that's Mrs. Drake's room. Guess oh, she's yeah. Not in her room. I always do that. <laughs> Linda! So, day two, Linda is a little interesting. She's, she's very easily impressed by Nancy's determination. Ooh, I don't remember her shadow like that. Oh, she shuffles, yeah. It's weird. I'm sorry to bother you again, but Jane told me about the lady in black. What lady in black? Jane never said anything to me about a lady in black. Hmm? That kid is so weird, I just don't get her. So now question, is the lady in black supposed to be the cover art of this game? Oh, that's a really good question. Uh, I'm pretty sure the lady in black is supposed to be Eleanor Penville. Hmm. And you can find her picture down in the hall. But who is... Okay, let's keep prying. She seems very concerned about you. <sighs> yes, I know. I just don't know how to be a stepmother to her. She's just so... Strange. Mm. Look, just forget about me. You can't help me, and that's that. I'm sorry. Linda, you have to give me a chance. Everyone is so worried about you. If you just tell me what's happened, maybe Dude, I this, could help. This music's freaking me out. It is pretty unsettling. Linda? This feels like I made a promise serious. to your mother, and I plan to keep it. I'm here for you when you need me. This is such a well-written game, honestly. Linda's and Jane's dynamic's great. Nancy is very sincere. What is this music right now? This it's, is, <laughs> it's pretty off this, there, yeah. Uh, now, here's the thing. On day two, you actually unlock new Linda dialogue that pushes the game forward. And you were supposed to get it there, but Nancy instead went and told her about the lady in black. So if you wanted to, you could actually go talk to Linda right now and she'd have new dialogue. Hi, Linda. Nancy? Mm. I can't believe you're still here. I thought for sure that... <laughs> what? Maybe you can help me. So the game wants you to have this be the first thing you say to her on day two. But if you find out about the lady in black from Jane first, Nancy <laughs> defaults to saying that first. So then it sounds weird when she's just like, you're still here after two minutes of not talking Maybe to me? Maybe you can help me. <laughs> like a minute has passed and she said, you can't help me, leave. I, I, like, I like what they were going for, but they probably should have coded that to be a little more stringent. Hmm. What did the lady in black leave for you on your nightstand? All I know is... I've awakened something in this house, something that refuses to rest. Hmm? What did you do? <sighs> One day, after Hugh left for Rome, I inadvertently discovered a secret passageway. Hmm. I started to explore it, and pretty soon I found this really old-looking message etched into the wall. When I read it, I realized it was some kind of ancient curse. How did you realize that? I tried that? to laugh it off, but it was kind of unnerving. So I went back to my room and found a note on my nightstand. And on it was written the exact same curse. The underline. Yeah, I know. That very night, I started to feel strange. Whoa. The curse has been coming true ever since. Oh, we're dipping into crystal skull power of suggestion. I know, and this is pretty sick. Can you tell me what this curse said? I burned it as soon as I read it. Oh, come on. I don't know why I bothered telling you this. You can't do anything for me. I should have listened, but I didn't. And Wind now up. what's done is done. So moody. How well do you get along with Jane? I've been giving it the old college try, believe me. But she can just be so strange sometimes. Maybe she's just trying too hard to get you to like her. That could be part of it, but she'll just do the oddest things. Like one night just after Hugh left, she came into my room and insisted I read a book to her. What's that so doesn't weird about sound that? very odd to me. The book was on monsters, <laughs> vampires, and werewolves, and witches. 
I mean, what kind of little girl reads books like that? It's kind of cool. She yeah. fits right into this house, that's for sure. Tell me about the secret passageway you found. No. Hmm. I've already sealed my own doom. I won't do the same to you. I'm not going to tell you anything. Oh, come, Quats. I'll see you soon. What? <laughs> I don't know that one. <laughs> well, I think Linda is a great example of her interactive taking a risk in writing a character and it paying off tenfold. They only paid a voice actor for her, from what I can tell. I know. Because you never see Linda, spoiler alert, but it's accomplished to great well, effect. Yeah. This game really does have, like... Her dialogue just really good. Five characters, six it characters. It sounds, like, sincere and, mm -hmm. like, scared, mm -hmm. which is why it's so good, I think. Okay, um, characters to talk to. I would like to talk to Jane, but maybe we should give her lessons a bit more time. Yeah. Let's see what Mr. Mukherjee's on about. Hello, Nancy. Have you seen any runes anywhere in the manor? You mean, like, Norse runes? No, I haven't. I don't really know much about them anyway. Mm -hmm. Dead languages aren't really my bag, you know? I find that hard to believe. I'll let you get back He's to your work. Latin, isn't he? Tally ho! Yeah. Hmm. Alright, well, we're on the lookout for runes. Yeah, I do want to try to, like, translate some of the runes that Jane was doing. I want to know why runes are part of her curriculum. That's so weird. I know. Think we can say anything new to Mrs. Drake? Perhaps. Maybe about Linda? Dude, scary music galore. Yes? Hmm. Do you know what the password is for the computer in the library? No, that was my brother's toy. Don't worry, Nancy, I know. Goodbye. What did you say about the his gaming pleasure, PC? It's all mine, child. Yeah, that was his gaming PC. <laughs> He's playing League on there. Roblox. Mm hmm. What if you could log on his computer? and play Nancy Drew Blackmore Manor on his computer. I want to see someone emulate and that. And then it's like an inception. You keep going into his computer on his game and you keep playing more message. You keep playing more Blackmore Manors. <laughs> They're still singing? That is shocking. Someone's door just opened. I know, I heard that too. Is that Mrs. Drake? You're gonna need a bigger bolt. You're gonna need a bigger bolt. Tell me where you put the money. <laughs> Right. Bye, bird. Don't okay. leave me. I love you. So, skip ahead to two o'clock. We have some business with Jane. Yeah. Pay no attention. Jane is the key to the map this whole game. It's nap time. Nap time indeed. Just one hour. A little power nap never hurt nobody. Mm -hmm. There's the nice music. Let's Jeez. go. Memoirs. Oh, oh, she's, she's just singing. She's just practicing Maybe. herself. Just let her keep going. Look through her bookshelf. Just, she's, she's a ventriloquist, okay? Jameson, we need, this needs to be investigated. Monsters. Monsters. Nigel gave that to me when I was in the library once. I think he was hoping it would scare me, but it didn't. I'm too smart to believe in that sort of stuff. Hmm. The real deal. Open, opening up right to werewolves, huh? By Capital University of Manhattan. That is not a Manhattan or name, but go on. This is pretty interesting. So, stuff, yeah, this is like a real diagnosis. Yeah. So, is, is this like a medical book? Go back to the first page because I want I want to get this in this writing. Since ancient times, uh, blah blah blah. One of the legends involved humans who could transform themselves into wolves. These creatures were called werewolves. Were means man. Man wolves. Man wolves. Why don't, why don't we call them that? That's we'll cool. Call them why wolves, like from Adventure Time. Known as lycanthropy. The descriptions of werewolves and of the transformation process have varied greatly throughout the ages. Some lycanthropes assumed the precise appearance of a wolf. Others turned into something that was half human, half beast. Sometimes the change was permanent. Sometimes lycanthropes could change form at will. Sometimes environmental factors brought about the transformation. The symptoms and duration of a werewolf's condition depended entirely upon the curse that initiated that particular case of lycanthropy. So that's really important, because to my knowledge, this is a real thing. Lycanthropy. In general, victims who were destined to alter their form permanently usually appeared pale. Fatigue was frequent complaint among them as well, as weak vision, dry tongue, constant thirst. These symptoms usually accompanied, or were soon followed by, hair growth, especially on the face and hands. Fingernails grew long, and eye colors gradually changed shape and Dude, color. Linda's turning into a werewolf? Linda might be turning into a werewolf. I remember Kaylee playing this for the first time, went crazy when she read that. So, 
basically, it's a lot like the power of suggestion in Game 17, saying that if the victim believes hard enough that they have been cursed, they will begin to exhibit lycanthropic symptoms. That's such a hard mm. word to pronounce. Um, I would love to study the psychology of this condition. For temporary victims who would change their appearance as well, or who were involuntarily transformed by the second... Okay, now it's just getting into, like, folklore with the full moon and nocturnal mm -hmm. howl. That's a freaky picture. Why? The reasons for lycanthropy. Okay, this is going to be interesting. Um, psychology plays a significant role in lycanthropy. This wanting is exactly to, what I wanted to know. Wanting to imitate, if not actually become, the thing or person that one fears the most seems to be part of human nature. Far from being a universal phenomenon, werewolves are unknown in regions where there are no wolves. Instead, people spread tales of werebears, were-tigers, or were-crocodiles, whichever animal is most feared. The old saying, if you can't beat them, join them, goes a long way in explaining the source and longevity of many monster legends. More importantly, throughout history, there have been instances of people who actually were werewolves, in their own minds at least. Convinced that they had been cursed, they presented all the physical symptoms of lycanthropy, and often behaved violently. Because they fully believed that they had become werewolves, they acted like werewolves. As a result, the people around them treated them like wolves, which only reinforced their delusion, thus trapping them in a vicious cycle. That is horrible. The psychological disorder was no doubt prevalent in the Middle Ages. Well, but phone number. There is a phone number. For research psychologists such as myself, information gathering is a never-ending process. If you believe you know someone who has undergone a lycanthropic metamorphosis, please contact this me. This phone number just might come in handy. I'd say so, Nancy. I well, mean, I'll be a son that's, of a cra gun. that's crazy. That was a crazy read. I'd never actually, like, studied that book. It's a good one. Yeah, we know the runes. All right, Jane, I'm never playing another... What's over here? Is this... Oh, this is cool. That's my family tree. Mm. Ask me anything about anyone. Go on, ask me. Okay, what's the most random thing on here? I've what's... listened to all of these. Who the heck is Adam? There's some Who interesting is stories. Adam? Uh, like he married Eve. Duh, no kidding. I actually don't know anything about him. I think he was that's the what? son of Hugo, though, but I forget. Well, we just caught her. He was so... the son of Hugo. He was right about that. We don't know when Randolph was born. Well, I want to learn about Randolph, though. He's the beginning. Tell me about Randolph. Randolph the Red, so named for his bright red hair, was considered a hero at the Battle of Portiers. For his heroism, King Edward III awarded him with the lands in the region called Penvelin. That's how we got our name. Right out of the Dark Ages. Who the heck is Marjorie? Who is Marjorie? She died when she was a little girl. It was really sad. Oh, yeah. She lived, like, yikes, eight years. Eight years? Nothing. I don't care if she died. You need to tell me about her. <laughs> That's what all there is to know Jacobus? about her. What about Jacobus? He died when he was like nine. Yeah, a lot of these people died young, I'm realizing. I just want... Who was Joseph? Er, Josephus? Yeah, they used a lot of Latin names back then and weird spellings. He became like a priest or parson or something. This is such a great way of world building in this game. Mm -hmm. Oh wait, can I see more? Yeah, yeah. scroll down. For the... Uh, the most recent. No, go back. There were some interesting people you passed. You, oh, actually, I want to see what she says about Who Alan and Mrs. Alan? Drake. He was my grandfather, but I didn't know him because he died when I was little. I guess he was nice. Hmm. And hit him with Letitia. What do you know about <laughs> Letitia? <laughs> Loves plants, hates noise. You can ask her about it. She's usually in the conservatory with her plants. Uh, try Nahum. That's actually the name of a guy from... Lovecraft's Color Out of Space. What did Nahum do? He died in the flu epidemic. Okay, so it was not a reference. <laughs> Obadiah. Tell me about Obadiah. That's a guy Obadiah. from Shadow He Rinsmith. lived in the U.S. for most of his life and married this weird woman named Eustacia. Eustacia and She's Drop still off. alive and sometimes calls us. She's totally creepy. No oh, way! Maybe. We just found out Eustacia and Drop off. Cassandra husband. and Hector That's totally who that was. Uh-huh. Cassandra was totally obsessed with lawn tennis and was one of the first people in England to have a court installed at her home. Hector was the first ball boy. I love this stuff. Hmm. Go back a couple, because there's a few that I am interested in. Um, do Brigitte, that's who she sings the song about. Tell me about Brigitte, or the actually, one born in 1759. Brigitte's. She never married and was bonkers for astronomy. She adopted her sister's son, Richard, who later got killed at Waterloo. Uh, I want to hear about William. Who was the William who died so young? He was Edward's little brother. He named his son after him. Hmm. What about this Brigitte? Tell me about Brigitte, the one who was born in the 17th century. She was absolutely mad about cricket, the game, not the insect. Mm -hmm. She actually saw the first cricket match in 1744. Personally, though, I can't stand the sport. 
Teofil. Teofil? It's Who Teofil. is Teofil? He <laughs> lived most of his life on the island of Mauritius and discovered like a million plant species. That's so cool. Imagine being like a botanist in the 17th century, 18th century. That'd be such a cool profession. Okay, there's the big one. Ask about Eleanor. What can you tell me about Eleanor? Just that she was burned as a witch, but it wasn't <gasps> true. And mm. her father, James, died when he saw her die. And then the family fled to France. I don't want to talk about this. Oh, come on. You have to tell me more. Isn't that very interesting? Who's that James? She... <laughs> Never. This is important, too. He was very old. A baby was found at the doorstep to the manor. He took her in and raised her as his own. That was Eleanor. Hmm. Isn't it interesting that she's trained to respond that she was accused of being a witch, but it wasn't true? Mm -hmm. How can you prove it wasn't true, Jane? There's just one more I want to do. If you go back another page, tell me about we'll do Garrett. Garrett first. Uh, he drowned on his 19th oh. birthday. Oh my God! <laughs> Jesus, swimming at Beck's pool. Uh, I believe there is a Tyrion in here somewhere. Tyrion Lannister? Yeah, keep going. Or no, no, no. It's not. His name's not Tyrion. It's a. Uh, it's a Tyrion reference. Oh, I forget his name, but one of these... Oh, it's Francis, I think. Try Francis. What did Francis do? He got into a big fight no. with his brother, James, and lived in France. <laughs> it's all he's remembered for. <laughs> I, want to, I want to figure out which one it was. Tell me about Corbin. Oh, uh, I don't know. He doesn't have a coat of arms in the Great Hall because he didn't live here. Wasn't even a British subject. That's all I know. Wow. You're a fake fan. Who was Helene? <sighs> Can we stop soon? Fine. Helene married the Duke of Bouville and died in 1760. End of story. Whoa. What was that all about? She's getting bored. She just finished four hours of tutoring. Wait, but that was like, is that just for Helene or Ken? Who was born in 1763? What? That was Isabel. Why she did... wrote many letters about the French Revolution and actually saw Marat's dead body in the bathtub. Ugh. Talk about gross. Hold on, I want to ask about Helene again. Who was Helene? She's going to say the same thing. <sighs> Can we stop soon? Why? Helene married the so Duke of Bouville and died in 1760. End of story. Sore subject there, huh? All right. Let's have an actual conversation with her now. Hi, Nancy. Do you know of any secret passageways in the manor? I found one, but all it did was lead to this funny picture. Do you think you could show me where the passageway is? Wouldn't you rather play a game with me? No. I'm so bored. We're playing hardball. I'll play a game with you after you show me the passageway. No, Excuse me. we'll play a game, and if you win, I'll tell you where it is. Damn. Nancy, yeah, don't got let this. her That's dictate really this. Dude, I just States. have to play bowl with Kaylee. It's supposed it was to be an worst. original Maya game. Yeah, you just but can't escape worry. this. You don't have to, like, kill people or take their hearts out or anything. It's really easy to play. I know. You roll the corn we and move your know how to play bowl, James! On the corn. If no dots, then you get to move five spaces. You get two turns, but you can pass on your second turn. You just keep on going down this track, and you can capture my person if you land on him. Whoever gets all the warriors wins. I'll be blue. Here we go. So, question, is there a strategy to this? Yes, technically. You just want to use probability when you hit pass. So, like, probability when dictated, go. you should have passed on that roll. Pass. See. So you... Your turn. Good job. Oopsie. Okay, let a, let a real expert... Okay, so you can go. Get kill again. You can go. Okay, so I'm gonna roll one, and then I'm gonna pass to I let pass. her come closer. Pass. Damn it, she saw right through me. I should just go for it. Your turn. Okay, good. Pass. We can still come back from this. You can go. Okay. Oh no. No. Another warrior bites the dust. Jamie, you're sucking at this. I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna be so Your bad. Turn. You're screwing up our, our ranked. Okay. This is unless ranked you, unless she rolls a five. Pass. Okay, good. We can get this one. One, two. Now we need a four. You can go. Sorry. Get ready for the craziest comeback in the world. Your turn. Pass. We better not get swept. 
Jamie. You can go. That was foolish. Oopsie. Jameson, I you just got too swept. Bad. You lose. Do you want Jane to play cheats Jane? at everything. That's <laughs> I'm never playing with you again. Maybe some other time. I'll see you later. We gotta Toodles. get that key. Yeah, what the heck happened to our bargain here? Hi, Nancy. Well, play, you gotta play a game for oh, the key. Wait. Do you think there's a treasure hidden around here? We have to win? Here? I highly doubt it. I mean, if there were, wouldn't someone have already found it? When I asked Ethel about it, she said that it's the Penvillain name and heritage that should be treasured. Blech. Have you ever seen anything <laughs> strange outside? I love her. Once I saw my Uncle Roger's toupee fly off during a windstorm. Talk about freaky. <laughs> That's exactly I mean, what we mean. Have you seen a strange <laughs> animal outside? No, but I have heard weird noises like this. Howling. But not like a dog howling, more like something human. Mm, that's me. I don't want to think about that. It's scary enough having to live in this gloomy place. Do you know what the password is for the computer in the library? Yes, but I won't tell. Oh not my god. Not unless you beat me at Skull and Bones. Oh, we're doing this you shit go again? Alright. No mercy. Do you have any tombstones? Dig. Do you have any zombies? Sorry. She has zombies. Do you have any coffins? Go dig. Do you have any spiders? Get out your shovel. Zombies, take them. Do you have any zombies? Here you go. Okay, go for witches. Do you have any witches? Dig. Any bones? Get out your shovel. Haunted houses. Do you have any haunted houses? Dig. Any bones? Afraid she not. really wants the bones. Do you have any bats? Here you go. If we lose this, I'm going to be so upset. Do you have any skulls? Here you go. Okay, go for zombies again. I would risk it. No. You don't want to risk losing out though. Do you have any though. zombies? Sorry. Any haunted houses? All yours. A match? Hmm, you're doing great. Any Sh bones? You're going to have to go dig. Do you have any coffins? Dig. Any bones? Get mm. out your shovel. She needs a match? Back. Oh hmm, my you're God. doing great. Oh, no. Do you have any skulls? Wait, let's listen find out she got bones. That's a match. Okay, that's good. Tombstones? All yours. Whatever. A match? Oh, hmm, you're oh doing great. Oh, come on. Would you happen to have any no. ghosts? No. All yours. Would you happen to have any ghosts? <laughs> Go dig. What? <laughs> nice what? one, Jane. Do you have any witches? Dig. Do you have any skulls? Oh, All no. yours. A match? Hmm, you're doing great. Now she's asking zombies, probably. Would you happen to have any ghosts? Okay. You're going to have zombies. to go dig. Do you have any zombies? Here you go. Yes. That's yeah. a match. Do you have any witches? Nada. No! Would you happen to have any oh, ghosts? Thank God. Oh, thank God. my gosh. Sorry. Gonna destroy her Give now. me the bones. Do you have any bones? Here you go. Really? You didn't even have both of them? You really? suck. Do you have any witches? Here you go. That's a match. Right, well, she know we know she doesn't have bones. Do you have any bones? Dig. Oh. Would you happen to have any ghosts? Yeah, we got no. some oh, yours. No. A match? Hmm, you're no doing great. Way. Any bones? Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. Oh, oh, no. Do you want to play a game? <laughs> this is unbelievable. She cheats. She's unbeatable. She's like a power okay. level 10. You go first. This sucks. Do Hit you have spiders. any bats? Sorry. Do you have any spiders? All yours. What did I say? <laughs> Do you have any spiders? <laughs> okay, okay, well, she's stupid, so. Do you have any tombstones? Nada. Would you happen to have any ghosts? Go dig. Would you happen to have any ghosts? Do you have any zombies? Bats. Here you go. Okay. Do you have any skulls? Dig. Any bones? Afraid not. Do you One have game any here, she still wants those bones. Here you go. Okay, go for bats. We haven't tried bats yet. Do you have yet. any bats? Here you go. I got a match. All right. It is. Do you have any haunted houses? Nada. Do you have any spiders? <laughs> Sorry. This is like the game Gandhi skin. Do you have any coffins? Here you go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> do you have any sevens? Uh, no. Uh, do you have any sevens? <laughs> do you have any skulls? <laughs> Sorry. That was so funny. Would you happen to have any ghosts? Go dig. Do you have any tombstones? Sorry. Would you happen to have any oh, ghosts? She ghosts Go dig. Oh, she's going crazy. Do you have any witches? Here you go. Oh! That's a match. Get dunked on. Do you have any skulls? Nada. I got a match. Yes. Do you have any spiders? I'm going to oh, destroy wow. this 10-year-old. We're going to get every single match. Okay. Do you yeah. have any haunted houses? Here you go. 100%. That's a match. Let's go for the perfect run. 
Do you have any zombies? Here you go. Oh, I got a match. How's it feel? Do you have any coffins? Nada. That's a match. Oh, don't ask for bones. To have any oh my gosh. Yes. Wait, this is perfect. You got a match. Damn. Good for you. I, really, oh. I wanted every single match. Do you have any skulls? Nada. Would you happen to have no. any ghosts? I don't oh, think yours. she can win. Though. Yeah, I think it's over. Any bones? Go dig. Do you it's have any so skulls? Over, bro. Here you go. That's a match. <gasps> Do you have any bones? That sucks. Here you go. That's a match. D see, this is how the oh! game. No, this is how she's won everything. <laughs> yeah. Because this is not. This, <laughs> like, if you, if you like are the la if you get a match in the late game, you pretty much win the game. Mm -hmm. That's the strategy. That's the meta for skulls and bones. You have to get a match late game, and then you win. You take all the matches. It's ridiculous. You take all the matches from there. Do you have any ghosts? I win. Yeah, that's ridiculous. You won. Good job. Okay, the password for my grandfather's computer is on his coat of arms, plain as day. That's cool. I'm about you mean pergamentum, pergamentum exit? Let's I'm about play a that pergamentum exit game. in your house. Cool. I'll be blue. Here we go. Okay, let's do strategy. So roll and pass. Oh, come on. No, no, pass, pass. Oh. Your turn. Now she can close the gap. Good. Okay. See? You can go. Just as I calculated. Just one, just one. Okay, now pass this one. No. You can go. Now watch her roll a five and a four. Pass. Yeah, you should roll that. Yeah! Oh, no. Yeah, right. The redemption arc. It's, uh, it's the comeback season. Pass that one. I pass. Oh, my God. Oh, <laughs> that was crazy. You can go. I froze. I was afraid. You can go. You can go. This game is pass. not fun. It's just... It's a bad game. I don't know. Look, I, I can't pass. even be mad at her interactive because they didn't make this game. The ancient Mayans did. So, like... I don't you know who go. to complain to. <laughs> I pass. God. Pass. No. There's you the two. Go. This game sucks. It should just be two. There should not be four lives. Your turn. Pass. I knew oh, it. do it again. Do it again. I pass. You can go. Okay, kill zone. Kill zone. Yeah, kill that's zone. It. That's it, right? All right. Oh. You left out that time. Screw you, Jane. Okay. I found the secret <laughs> Nancy the should break the game that's over her knee after. The <laughs> arms on the door. But it's not a very exciting secret passageway. You're going to be totally bored. Wouldn't you rather play a game with Absolutely me Absolutely not. The East Hall is locked. Do you know how I can get in it? My great aunt took the key. We don't even acknowledge she her question. She probably thought I'd break something in there, but I found another mm. one. You're gonna yeah, make me you play a game? It if <gasps> you want. Thank you. Really? Wow. The lady in black you saw in Linda's room. Did she look like anyone you know? Like I said before, I couldn't really see her face, but she was kind of dressed like the lady in the great hall. Which lady? Eleanor. I know it sounds weird. That's why I didn't want to tell anyone. Actually, it's Julian, she wasn't true. Creepy. She wasn't a witch. Sometimes I wonder if I just dreamed it all up. Mrs. Drake is always saying I have a rampant imagination. I'd like to hear her take on this. Have you mm -hmm. ever heard anything strange at night that sounds like chanting? No. <laughs> sure. I should get Morning going. Answer. Au revoir. No, I don't think I've heard that. Sure. Don't ask me again. Anything else? Mm -hmm. That's her mother, isn't it? Who's this? That's my mum. My real mum. She's an opera singer. It's not like she's famous or anything, but she does live in Paris. Mm. Mm -hmm. What is this book? Don't know, really. Ethel gave it to me. She said it belonged to my grandfather. Do Mute you book. think Brady Armstrong is cute? Yes. Mm -hmm. Mutus means silent. The silent book is what it's... Runes. Actually, this those looks aren't like cursed. Those are alchemy symbols. <gasps> I think. Full Metal Alchemist. Edward Elric, <laughs> the Full Metal Alchemist. <laughs> this is actually a pretty sick book. I want to meet whoever illustrated this and shake their hand. What if it was the general? <laughs> Wait, that looked important. The last one? Yeah. That'll be important later on. I want to figure out what everything in this means. I bet Nigel likes Full Metal Alchemist. Okay, you know what I want to do? 
I want to call Miss Vados, but we're gonna let's do it as close to outside her door as we can. Yeah, I, w I wouldn't <laughs> let to hear the whole conversation. Uh, and we can call Ned in this game. That's right? right. Ned's good in this game. This is Paliki. Hi, my name is Nancy. Nancy, Drew. speak up. Can I ask you some questions about lycanthropy? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm about to leave for a seminar, and I'm very busy. Besides, uh, I've written two books, books and twelve status. articles on the subject. If you have questions, perhaps you should try reading one of them. I did. Oh, that was rude. That's how I got your number. Well, if you didn't understand something, I'm afraid I really don't have time to explain it to you. I understood everything. It's just that I know someone who seems to be exhibiting some of the symptoms of <laughs> lycanthropic meta... Lycanthropic metamorphosis? Well, that's different. Talk to me. What do you consider to be the definitive signs that someone is turning into some kind of animal? <laughs> Symptoms are relatively subtle. <laughs> I'm mouth, a fatigue, Put her on vision, speaker, Nancy. <laughs> reduced blood flow to the skin. Is this person pain? Very. Maybe. Could I have made maybe. this call in her room? Oh my god, maybe. Not? I don't know. She won't let anyone see her. She just lies in bed <laughs> this all day be so behind funny this curtain. Right outside her bed. <laughs> hmm. And at night, what does she do at night? I can't be sure, but I do know that I saw something outside the night I arrived. Some kind of animal. And when I asked to see my friend, I was told she was unavailable. This sounds very promising. <laughs> you hear this, Linda? You don't really believe she's turning into some kind of creature, do you? <laughs> Young lady, I believe the human mind is capable of far more than we can ever imagine. Pale skin, dry mouth, fatigue. The human mind is perfectly capable of causing the body to exhibit such symptoms. If it is so motivated. There's that underline temper tantrum symptomatic of lycanthropy? There are no hard and fast rules when it comes to lycanthropy. Or almost anything else for that matter. But, but if someone believes that what they're changing into is irrational, or has a bad temper, then they will exhibit irrational, ill-tempered behavior, especially if this is contrary to their former nature. What would motivate someone to turn into an animal? Most lycanthropes are under a great deal of stress, due perhaps to the death of a loved one, marriage, divorce, mm. relocation, that sort of thing. They're emotionally vulnerable, which means they're particularly open to the, the power, power of suggestion. suggestion. Someone suggests they become a lycanthrope? Not in so many words, of course. Somehow, they get it in their head that they're destined to take another form. They see something, they read something, someone says something to them. Somehow, they the come curse. to believe they're supposed to undergo a physical metamorphosis. And so, in their weakened psychological state, they do. Do you think seeing an ancient curse would be <laughs> enough to send someone, you know, over the lycanthropic edge? Absolutely. Of course, a person Yes, I've had four patients that had that exact same thing happen. She has no idea what XYZ is. Oh. She has to have some prior knowledge of the creature she thinks she has been condemned to become. A book, a website, a movie, a play, a casual anecdote, any number of Jane's things could book. provide her subconscious brain with clues as to how she is to look, feel, Ooh. and behave in her altered form. That's Thanks very for your time. true. You're welcome. Jane made her read that book to her about mm -hmm. lycanthropy, so that's my probably where she would have picked up the idea. I just want to see if I could have made the call in here. Yeah, I didn't think oh, I could. That's, that's a shame. Could you imagine on this screen? I'm. It would be rude to use it now. No, it wouldn't, Nancy. How are you doing? Linda? How? I'll be going now. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Dude, um, gonna drop a- Shaggy. Gonna drop a fat horror movie recommendation. Uh, American Werewolf in London. Just such a great, like, half-kitsch, half-actually-scary horror movie. I'll do another one. Scooby-Doo meets the werewolf. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Scooby-Doo and the Reluctant Werewolf, you mean? Yes. Yeah, that's the greatest movie ever made, actually. I, I don't know if this We're in. casual audience is ready for it, but- American uh, Werewolf in London. Is I American will movie. always remember guessing this on my first try. The hands move. Like, just messing around and actually getting it. Which, what are the odds of that? Isn't that like 1 in 300 or something? Like. Yeah, I mean, it's four, four configurations four and times six different six. things. So it's... No, is it, wouldn't it be like 6 to the 4th power? Yeah. It would be something absurd I'm bad like at that. math. <laughs> I'm really bad at math. I don't know. If you have a talent for math out there, please do something with it. Because, like... Having a talent for math is great, and do not squander that talent, because there very much are people like me. Okay, can. so I'm supposed to do what again? Nothing. Gargoyle. She said that you had to fit around with the hands, but um, if you want, I can tell you where you find the clue, but this is also your... Is it not on the door? No. I don't see anything on that door. 
Uh, time has come.